Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. Today we're going to talk about Nagel's algorithm. Nagel's algorithm, if we go into the Wayback Machine to the Orwellian 1984, is when RFC 896 for Nagel's algorithm came out. And the reason Nagel's algorithm exists is because they wanted to be able to fill, make sure that they were filling the bandwidth of, uh, or I mean filling a whole packet so that we weren't having this inefficiency. Because if you have like a packet size of 1500 bytes and you're sending a packet that has 50 bytes in it, well, your overhead is probably between 40 and 54 bytes, somewhere in there. And, and then you have a 50 byte payload, well, half of your packet is overhead and that's not good. And then of course, you have all that extra space in your packet that isn't being used at all. So Nagel's algorithm was created to combat that. And so the essence of the algorithm is that if the available data and the window size is greater than MSS, go ahead and send. Otherwise, if there's unconfirmed data on the wire, unconfirmed data on the wire, we're gonna go ahead and queue that. And otherwise, we'll send immediately. Okay? And so this, that's, the, that's the essence of Nagel's algorithm. Uh, and so if we look at that on a kind of a, a, a waterfall, we have a, let's say, big IP, uh, and we have a client. And so if, say I wanna send 2,000 bytes, so the payload here is 2,000 bytes. And I wanna send that to the client, but I only have a 1,500 byte payload. Then with Nagels, then that means I'm going to send 1,500, and then I'll get an ACK, and then I'll send 500, and then get an ACK, and so that takes two round trips to send that 15 or that 2,000 bytes. Without Nagels, I can do this again, and the client, and so without Nagels, we can just go ahead and send both so that my 200 and then I get my act back. And so you can see this takes two round trips, this takes one round trip. So at say one millisecond in a LAN or even say 10 milliseconds, uh, no big deal. But as you get to 50 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds or 300 milliseconds, these round trips add up. What we can accomplish in one becomes a, a big problem for chatty applications that don't fill the payload. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people will uh, turn off Nagels uh, in order to um, be able to get the traffic uh, moving more expediently. And so, whereas it's a little less efficient on the wire, it's more efficient in terms of round trips. And so, um, you know, inefficiency versus uh, performance, it's a good thing. Now, there are some people that will say that if this is the case, then your application is doing it wrong. But, you know, there are applications like, uh, you know, RDP and Telnet where there's just not a whole lot of data to go on the wire because you're passing, you know, the mouse moving across the screen or you're, you're passing a keystroke or something. And so, you know, you don't want to queue up that data because then you have a, a bad uh, end user experience. But for applications that really there's, there's no reason why you can't fill the payload like HTTP, uh, if Nagels isn't performing correctly, it's probably something wrong with the, the application not necessarily something wrong with Nagels. And so uh, there are some things with Nagels uh, to be aware of, and that's the way that they, they interact with uh, delayed acknowledgements. And so if you have a big IP, say, or just a sender, but we'll say the sender's the big IP, and you have a client, and a delayed acknowledgement, uh, mostly on the receiver side, big IP sends, the 1500 and maybe has and and so say Nagels is enabled so the client receives that the client's still gonna maybe wait for some more data but the big IP because of Nagels is waiting uh, you know maybe up the stack at HTTP or whatever 
it's waiting for more data before it sends something out. So it's got a little queue here that's, that's filling up. And so it's, it's not going to send any data, but the client is not going to acknowledge that data because it's delaying its acknowledgement. And so what you, you end up with is this, you know, uh, a lot of them are maybe around 200 milliseconds, the stacks, but uh, to the RFC, it could be as long as 500 milliseconds. So that acknowledgement may say 500 milliseconds down here. That acknowledgement may not come. And so if you've seen any uh, TCP plotting where you have, this is your TCP sequence, and then this is uh, your, your time delta, you might see your TCP climb and then stall, climb and then stall. This is, say, 500 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds, um, or say maybe this is 250 milliseconds. And so you're having this not great experience with your TCP because of this, this uh, problem with Nagels and uh, delayed acknowledgements on the client. So in Big IP 12.0, there's actually some really cool uh, uh, functionality, and that's called auto for Nagel's algorithm. So before 12.0, you had enabled and disabled. Now you have auto. And what 12.0 seeks to do is it looks at its heuristics. And so if it determines from the client side that delayed acknowledgments are disabled, then it will go ahead and enable algorithm or enable Nagel's algorithm so that uh, it can avoid um, or it can use uh, the benefit of putting more data uh, um, or to be able to fill up uh, the, the pipe. But, um, but it will also look for the delayed acknowledge or the delayed acknowledgement so that when auto um, is on, it will not enable Nagels, uh, but it will do uh, something to where normally you won't send anything out on the wire uh, with Nagels enabled um, and delayed acknowledgements on the other side. However, instead of zero, um, the way the uh, big IP stack is done with auto is it will go ahead and send one um, unacknowledged small packet out on the wire just to be able to kind of speed this process up. Uh, so it, it just tweaks it a little bit. Another cool feature in Big IP is the HTTP profiles are Nagel aware in that if the application has no more data to send uh, on the wire, it will, with a special TCP control message uh, or a special control message down to the TCP stack, let TCP know, hey, I've got nothing else. And then that way it can go ahead and send immediately instead of waiting for more data. So pretty cool things that, that are integrated into uh, the Big IP implementation of the TCP stack. And so uh, we have some articles on Nagel's algorithm out of Dev Central. We will uh, link those in the video and appreciate your time.